Hey y'all, back with another video. my black doors and my yes, yes. home upstairs i'm just leaving a hair store i have a client tomorrow so i am headed to go see if i can find some type of like black and white decor to put upstairs i have like a silver picture up there right now but i just wanted to see if i'm able to find like a picture or something i saw something the other day at ross it was like a black and white big picture and it was like $50, so I'm gonna go check them out and see if they still have that. If they do have it, that would be great. It will be a new addition. I was actually gonna see about some of my old artwork that I had in my garage because I spent some money on that. But that stuff right there, it doesn't match any of my modern style upgrade. So it's just been sitting in the garage. I was thinking about like repainting it or something. But I was like, it's going to be too much to try to, like, just repaint it. You know, like, um, I've been seeing people, like, they mimic some of the artwork that they see on, like, Amazon or, like, Pinterest. They go get, like, their own, what is it, canvas, and then they get the paint and then just paint something, like, something simple. But these particular pictures that I have already, they have, like, green and a lot of different colors on it. It's too much colors. So, um... I'm gonna go to Ross to see if I can find something. I went to Home Goods the other day, but I didn't really see much. So I'm gonna go back to Ross. I wanted to go on the other side of town, but it's getting late. And I know they might be closing soon by the time I get there. But I'm gonna go over here, see what they have, go back home and put that up and then finish like doing my little cleaning, like the kids' room, their bathroom, and then, um Kind of like wipe the walls down and stuff. I see like before I left Baby Z took some toothpaste and put it all on the wall. So I was like, I gotta get that stuff up. And then um try to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. Okay, y'all, so I am leaving, just leaving out of at home. <clears throat> it is like 9 13. I got in there like around seven, almost like seven, something almost eight, and I'm just leaving out. I tell y'all, it was so hard to find what I wanted. Like, decor is getting so expensive. Like, dang. I think I got quite a few items. I think I spent like 117. That was bad to me because I wasn't going, well, I was actually going in there to spend about $100. But I kind of went over budget by 17. But the stuff I got, I don't, I'm going to see how it look. If it doesn't look right, I'll be returning some of it. But. Okay, y'all, so I just got back to the house. Give y'all a quick little haul real quick. So this is just some stuff for my TV stand. So I got this little elephant. It's like doing like a little, you know, meditation. Got that. I got this that says good energy. I vibe with good energy over here. I got this little gold. I put this in the bag. This little gold round thing. I'm gonna show y'all how it look when I set it up. So I got this energy candle. It's with tangerine, grapefruit, and I got this little gold thingy for the candle. I picked up these little fake little flowers. So this was one ninety nine, and then this was three dollars. It's like some yellow and white. So basically, I got these to go, you know, like to match my theme. And then I got this one that says, think happy thoughts. Yeah, be positive. Think happy. Think happy stuff. I got this little yellow thing. I think that this, I thought that this was really cute to match my color since it's yellow. And I got it to go like in these. I was only supposed to get one on, though. I, I just realized I got two. But it's supposed to go something like this. Dang, I didn't even mean to get both of them. I meant to get one. 
I have to put that somewhere else. Maybe I can use them like one at a time. I think this might look better though. Got this little gold plate. I was going for like a 14K look. 14 carats. And then y'all remember the plants I bought the other day, so I bought these. Hopefully they can fit. They should be able to fit because it's kind of small. Hopefully. If not, then I'm going to take these back. I got two of these. And then that's pretty much it. That's going to conclude my haul. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up and then I will show you guys how it looks after that. So this is how it looks with the little decor on. I'm going to be adding some lights at the top of the plants. Tomorrow they should be here. And then I'll show y'all how that looks. But I'm sorry. Looks good. Uh. Okay, guys. So, um, I took the flower pots back yesterday. And I decided to go ahead and go with these baskets. I thought that these will do the job for the plants. So, I'm going to put the plants in. And then, I'm gonna let you guys see how it looks. So, these right here were $5.99 at Home Goods. And they are the Tama, Tommy Bahama brand. So I was like, these should do the job just fine. I have one in and it looks pretty good. Yeah. And these are the picture lights that I got as well. This is, it's a pack of six. So I'm going to see how these look by the point. I don't know if they need batteries, but it just says picture light with remotes. So let me open these up. So I came with like two remotes. And with the mounts. It's like a magnet. Like I see that these stick on like a magnet. So I'll have to get some batteries. I'm going to take three. Double A batteries. Just from the looks of it, it looks like you will screw this part to the wall. And then, since this is a magnet, it'll just have it like this. And then it should shine on the picture. So, it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so I have installed my lights right there. I started putting one right there, but I think I'm going to show you guys how I do the last one on this side. But I'm going to just turn it on and show you guys how I did it. Well, how they look. But it was actually pretty um, easy to set up. Really easy set up. And um, I think, oh, okay. So it was really easy to set up. Trying to figure out which light I want to use on this side. But I think it was really easy to set up. The only thing you had to do is just mount like the little black piece right here. So you had to mount that piece right there with like two screws. And then this has a magnet on the back. And then of course I had to put batteries. So it takes three um, AA batteries for each light. But I love the way that this looks. It just brings out this area right here with the yellow and everything. I have to put everything back together. But I did um, move everything around. But I love the way it looks over there with the plant. And then I, was, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got baskets for the plants now. It was just a regular black little thing that it came with. But I'm going to go ahead and sit you down right quick and set up the last one and then like put clean my mirrors and stuff because everything is like dirty, organized everything. And then I will show you guys how the final looks look. But I just want to show you guys that. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so it is later on in today, well later on in the night. I talked to y'all this morning and I was telling y'all about the lights. So basically when I started talking to y'all, it was like four o'clock in the morning. I had just dropped the hubs off. But I'm gonna show you guys how the lights look at night. When I did the install, I did show you guys after that. Yeah, I did talk to y'all after four. 
I showed y'all uh, the lights, like how they look in the daytime, but now I'm gonna show you guys how they look at night. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this right here is my entryway. I didn't originally have a light up there, but I decided to go ahead and add one of those lights above the mirror. And it makes the area look so good, y'all. So I know I'm gonna go back on Amazon and purchase more of these lights. These were, I believe like 24, maybe 26 with tax. I'm gonna leak it in the description anyway because I forgot the price to be exact, but I know they were under $30 for like six lights. So just gonna show you guys a few of the settings on these lights. So you can make it bright. And I think it kind of like showcases my stuff that's up here. And my little decor that's up there. And I love the way that it looks. And these are battery powered. So you will have to put a battery in. And then you also will have to like mount that black piece that's on the wall. Let me take it off so I can show you guys. It's like a magnet on the back. I mean, you pretty much stick it on there to like display whatever it is that you are trying to display. And I love the way this looks, y'all. It looks so nice and fancy, especially since I painted my entryway table. It looks really good. And let's go into the living room. I'm going to show you this set first. So I put two right here. I have to, don't mind my yellow chairs. It look like Baby Z probably moved them or he moved the ottoman or something, but I put two above those pictures right there. I was thinking about putting one at the top, but I was like, I might be doing too much. But I like the way that little area look right there. And then it matches like all the black and white decor because y'all know I love my black and white and also my green. And then these are the plants. So I did put one above each plant and you can see how it looks like that but i was like if i'm in here i'm not gonna have like both of them on at the same time i would like probably cut these off so that it won't take away from up here and i think it looks really good y'all hey y'all so in this portion of the video i am going to be doing a collabs with a company called impact they sent me over this super shoulder this is a two cup toothbrush holder set. So I am gonna be installing it and doing an unboxing and showing you guys how it looks. And also I will be picking one lucky winner to win this toothbrush holder as a giveaway. I have one left and one lucky person is gonna be winning this toothbrush holder. So what I need you guys to do is spam these comments. I need you guys to leave me a W with a blowing horn, like the little confetti horn. So in order to be entered in this giveaway, I need you guys to give me a W with a blowing horn. And let's jump into this collaboration. I am gonna be installing it on my mirror. On my, I'm actually gonna be installing it on my wall. I will just put it right here since this is my guest bathroom. So that whenever my guests come over, they have somewhere to store their toothbrush and they don't have to put it under the sink. So I'm going to go ahead and sit you guys down and give you guys an unboxing on this product. And uh, you guys let me know if you guys are interested in buying this. I see that you can also install it on tile, marble, glass, metal, and a smooth tile wooden. So you guys will be able to find this product on Amazon for the two cup. Um, two brush holder is $14.99. And then they also have a three cup that is retail at $18.99 and both can be found on Amazon. So let me go ahead and sit you guys down and jump into this video. So when you guys open it up, it's gonna come in a bag like this and it's pretty cool because the toothbrush holder is like one piece so it's not like many pieces that I need to put on 
So these particular pieces right here are going to protect your toothbrush. So you're going to just slide your toothbrush up in there. And then it's going to like stick up there. So that's pretty cool. It came with two of these little, um, what is it, like a stick bag. If you want to just put it on the wall and then you'll connect it in. I'm going to show you guys. So it came with two of those. So I can actually save one for when one goes back. Came with the little quick start guide to show you guys how to do it, but it looks pretty simple to me. I don't even think I need to read the instructions. And then you see their brand right there. It says NPET. Impact. And it also has like a storage space right here for you to put like a toothpaste and like maybe like a small bottle of like um mouthwash, like a little travel size, or like a small like floss or anything little. You can put in this area right here so this is a really good so make sure y'all know where y'all gonna stick it at and then you'll put these down like that the cups will go on like so and then that's pretty much it look how look how quick it took me to install just that little thing that was really quick and easy. I'm going to give you guys an example of like how the toothbrush will look when you put it in. So you'll just put it in like so. And then your toothbrush should hang like that. So I think this is really great to have in like your guest bathroom or anything when you have guests coming over. Because it'll be easy for you to work it. And then what I love is that you can take this off and also clean the areas. Just in case you have different guests coming over, you don't want to leave it dirty like that you want to keep it sanitized but it will also protect their toothbrush from getting any dirt from the air or anything that may be around in the area and then they can store their toothpaste right there so thank you again impact for sending me this lovely toothbrush holder i am loving it already i think it's going to be a great product for my guest bathroom and thank you guys for sponsoring this video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video out if you guys are looking for any decor ideas for your home go ahead and check out amazon and if you need any tips i'm always here i love decorating i love doing diy stuff so if you want any help or any suggestions what you think you should do, you can always reach out here on, don't mind my hair, y'all, because I look a hot mess right now. You can reach out to me here on um, YouTube or you can hit me up on Instagram if you guys need some help with decorating and all that good stuff. But I'm about to end this video. I'm about to go in the shower, call it a night. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.